The children who have been left behind, Bianca, Fricky and Brayden, confused about why their fathers aren't coming home. The mothers are inconsolable, even with all the praises coming from the pulpit, and again defending firepower by the police. Anyone who points a firearm at a member of the police service will be killed. There is no one who would point a gun when their intentions are good and beyond reproach. The men were given a hero's burial at the Stackfontein Cemetery in Krugersdorp. The families overcome with grief. Colleagues and friends also had a chance to pay their last respects. She never complained. He was also always smiling, always making jokes. He was the best. <laughs> Brenda Skuman is four months pregnant. Her three-year-old son, Braden, still overwhelmed by it all. Her husband was 30 years old and he had worked for the police for 12 years. Inspector Leone van Heerden was among the police wounded in the shootout. She tries to console her 10-year-old daughter. It was one of the few times she and her husband, Fricky, worked on the same shift. She and six of her colleagues managed to keep the 22-strong gang inside the Jeppistown house until backup arrived. The final farewell and a new chapter for the families and colleagues alike. Continuing without Fricky and Gert. Sandy McCowan, SABC News, Johannesburg.